Welcome to Math with Mr. J. So this video is going to be an introduction to coordinate planes. We're going to cover some very important vocabulary words and concepts when it comes to coordinate planes. And as you can see, on the left hand side of your screen, we have six numbers there followed by important vocab words and concepts. So that's what we're going to cover in this video. And on the right hand side of your screen, we have a coordinate plane that we're going to use to show examples of these and where these things are on the coordinate plane. So let's jump right into number one here, which happens to be coordinate plane. And a coordinate plane is a two dimensional surface, so flat, on which we can plot points, lines, curves, etc. Now, here on the right hand side of your screen is an example of a coordinate plane. And then number two and number three, this is what our coordinate plane consists of. It consists of an X and a Y axis. And it's very important to know the difference between the X and the Y axis. So the X axis is the horizontal or side to side axis. So I'm going to come over to the right hand side of your screen and label the X axis. Again, X side to side or horizontal. Now Y axis is the vertical or up and down. So I'll come to the top of your screen here and label that the Y axis. So again, X side to side, Y up and down. Now number four, we have the origin. And the origin is where everything starts on our coordinate plane when we plot points. We always start at zero, zero, and go from there. So I'm going to put a circle around the origin here, zero, zero. So when we plot points, we always start there at the center and then go side to side and then up or down. And we're going to go through a few examples of those here next for number five. So for number five, we have ordered pairs slash coordinates. Now, the two numbers within the parentheses, so for example, this three and five, that's an ordered pair. The three is the X coordinate and the five is the Y. The X always comes first. You always go side to side and then up or down. So let's plot three, five. We start at the origin in the center of our coordinate plane and we go over three on the X axis. Now that's a positive three so I'm going to underline that there. So we go over three and then up to positive five. Now where those intersect, we plot a point. And I'm going to label that point so we know exactly where we plotted that point. Now the second word pair, six, negative seven. So again, X always comes first, followed by our Y coordinate. So we would start at the origin in the center. We would go over a positive six. Now this time we're going to go down seven though because that's a negative seven. So over six, down to negative seven, plot a point where they intersect. I'm going to label this point as well. And then lastly, we have negative seven, nine. So again, X always comes first, followed by Y. Now this time we're going to go left of zero because that's a negative seven. So negative seven's over here. And then our Y is positive, a positive nine. So we're going to go up. Plot our point and I'll label negative seven, nine. So again, always side to side and then up or down. Lastly, we have quadrants. Now, if you look at your coordinate plane there, you'll notice that we have four sections, the top right, top left, bottom left, bottom right. 
So this three five right here, this top fourth, this is considered quadrant one. I'm going to use Roman numerals here. Now I'm going to jump to the left where negative seven nine is. This is considered quadrant two. So negative seven nine, that point is plotted in quadrant two. Now we're actually going to go down to the bottom left and that is quadrant three. And then we go to the bottom right and that is quadrant four. So we actually go around this way when we count out our four quadrants. So again, one, two, three, and four. So six negative seven, that point is plotted in quadrant four. So there you have it. There's the basics of coordinate planes and some very important vocabulary words and concepts that we need to know. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.